Warning, this podcast contains bad words and stories about drugs and sex and overthrowing the government. Proceed with caution. Thank you. And now on to our show. Wake up, brother, we got nothing to do. Let's go outside, just me and you, and build a fort. We'll pack a lunch, won't be home till after dark. Then after dinner, we can sneak back out. You know that high school girl I've been telling you about well she gets undressed about a quarter to nine and we can watch her do it from the big old pie next door she got a room on the second floor well it looks like another fucked up day in paradise Episode 156, Waiting on the Rain, Daughter of Godcast, Season 4, Choice. It's still Season 4, and I'm still Dan Kelly, Sri Fuji Split, Handsome Devil, uh, Bon Vivant. I thought last week we'd do a double episode, but... But looks like this is the week that we catch up. Last week's episode today and this week's episode tomorrow... Next week's episode yesterday, if this were the title of a Philip K. Dick novel, had we done a double last week, this episode would have been about my modes of podcasting, such as scripted, outlined with riffing and totally improv, and how each style has its own unique advantages. But fuck that. Uh, At least for this week. We've got bigger fish to fry. Actually, we don't have any fish to fry. And has that ever stopped us before? Never. Where's the movie? Who knows? Just around the bend? A couple of months away? That's our working premise. Insert assessments and projections here, right here. Uh, Clearly, the adventure of making this movie has been a sort of movie itself. I'm not saying the movie. It's not a trick. I'm not playing a trick on you. But making the movie, making myself, That's a story, which I've been telling myself, mostly, uh, trying to be here for. When I feel like I've got nowhere, like I'm spinning my wheels, I remember that the point here is to make stuff. That's what artists do. Saw words anyway, pointing to feelings, pointing to the moon. If I feel like an artist, then everything's aight, Julian. For a big creative endeavor, What's the most dire threat? Depression, discouragement, shitty inner dialogue. A triumph is sweetest. A triumph is sweetest when the dire threat is close at hand. Contrast. In some sense, I make the drama up to power the process, to amp up the story. Running out of money, a dearth of collaborators, broken or missing equipment, crushed bleeding hearts, illness, injury, death, all that is ultimately inconsequential if there's an adequate supply of gumption. Lose our courage, though, and we're stuck. Insist on telling a sad story. Ignore the miracles that are... No, wrong way, that are everywhere. (laughs) And sure enough, I can simulate failure. Simulate it. Uh, I started writing this episode today with research. Had I talked about Swami Bua's walk-in on the podcast before? Turns out I probably haven't. Digression. Some podcasts are conversations. Not, Not my podcasts, but some other ones are conversations, interviews between at least two interesting people. I like those. I might like to make that sort of podcast myself someday. The thing is, I'm interesting all by myself. I have yet to run out of interesting things to explore. Uh, interesting to me, I, I mean, your mileage, your mileage may vary. Uh, 
This is 156 weeks now, which means that 156 times I have made a little show. I've unraveled some story or rift about my ride on Theme Park Earth. I'm in conversation with myself, a dedicated weekly reflection uh, on my wild life. Um, our wild life. You know, some weeks I feel like my material might be a little thin, like I don't, like I don't feel like talking. You know, what's there to say? That's just me adding drama. Oh, oh my God, I might not be an artist anymore. Maybe I never was. That I'm doing this is hardly a big deal. That's the point. Anyone can do this. Everyone's experience is amazing somehow. All I'm doing is putting a little, a little frame around my painting. Where's the frame? There it is, like this frame down over. No, wrong way, that way, and then up again. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyone can do this. Everyone's experience is amazing somehow. All I'm doing is putting a little frame around my painting. painting. Maybe it's audacity, or maybe just the desire to take a breath and reflect. Why? Do I have a desire to frame my picture, to share who I am with you? Why me and not you? But though maybe you're doing it too, who knows? What I'm doing isn't better than no reflection. The unexamined life is a fine life despite what the judgy Greeks asserted. Introspection isn't something to aspire to. Some of us just like to do that. And then maybe a subset of some of us promote introspection as the way to go for everyone. I like it, so you ought to too. You better follow my example. Believe what I believe. Do what I do. My goshness, there are as many great games as there are people. Why do I want to stop, take a breath, and talk about where I've been, what I feel like, and what I want? Why is that something I do? The answer feels kind of hilarious, and here we go. Because I am an artist, and artists are rigged up, wired up to share. They've got to have some inside scoop. They've been compelled to lift up the control panel and see how things work under there. Worse yet, they want everyone else to know too. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, this thing called life is a software simulation, uh, which means everything you thought mattered doesn't matter at all. Or, here's what's going to happen next. Or, or, everything is way more mysterious than we ever suspected. Woo! Art is only important if you're an artist. We are all artists, of course, so ultimately, being an artist is no big deal. Except that we all design Theme Park Earth together. Uh, to help us forget that we are the makers, the creators. Us artists don't want to play in that bigger sandbox, though. We just want to shout out spoilers during the movie and tell you what's going to happen next, as if you didn't already know. My grandmother on my dad's side used to borrow the same detective novels from her local library in St. Louis over and over again. She was a voracious reader like me. When I asked her why, she said, I forget what they're about, so I don't mind reading them again. She was a sharp lady too, witty and easygoing. Thank the whirling heavens for grandmothers. We all forget on purpose so we can have the fun all over again. Or maybe find an angle on the fun that wasn't obvious on the first or the fifth pass. Artists aren't very good at the forgetting game. The I'm merely a human game. They want to be gods, to exalt in mystery and have, a, and have deep insights. That's exactly what we tried to get away from by being human. Of course we're divine, so what? We're indestructible spirit, everlasting, infinite intelligence, all one. Big whoop. Can you be human for fuck's sake? That's the game today. Daughter of Godcast, episode 156, waiting on rain because there's rain shots I want. And for weeks now, rain comes only in the evening. Ugh. There's more to say, isn't there always? There's more, more, more. I don't need no stinking interviewee to inspire my conversation. I'm having a conversation all by myself. I'm practicing how to converse with the cosmos by talking to myself. 
a sort of jerking off maybe. There is so much remembering. Pleasure is a sort of memory, or better said, a reminder. Giving ourselves pleasure is a reminder that this feeling is what we are. Remember? Remember? I am pleasure. Some artists are fixated on beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Beauty! Uh, like we really need to be reminded that our nature is pleasure. We set up Earth to forget about pleasure for a little bit. Or maybe to make pleasure more intense through this stimulation. No, the simulation of non-pleasure. A pretending. Artists who focus on beauty are a pain in the ass. They have forgotten why we forgot. Then there are others who want to spread the forgettery even more as if they could. Improve on reality. Improve on the mechanisms of reality. We're not trapped and we're not puppets. But if that's the story you insist on telling, by all means. If we yearn to remember our godhood, that's cool. But remember this too. Even gods enjoy a vacation. Now we're done with that one.